Hi everybody, this is just a quick video about how I put DRO onto my MyFord Super 7 tailstock. I did have a rather cheap version which I got from uh, YouTube, uh, which came on uh, this side um, and was stuck on with magnets and roughly attached to the screen. It's obviously made from a, a chopped up version of uh, cheap cali calipers you can get from anywhere, all kinds of places. Um, but I didn't find that very successful because the magnets kept slipping and it kept going out of line. And as you can see, I lost the uh, battery compartment holder. So I've decided instead to go for a rather more substantial affair. Uh, the DRO is one left over from one I bought, uh, which I actually put on my mill for a while. But then I got uh, actually converted the mill to CNC. So I no longer needed these DROs. So I decided to use uh, this one and put it onto the um, tailstock. You can see that how it works is that uh, you have to make this piece a little bit of aluminium, um, just a normal piece of aluminium stock, quite simple. Uh, you need to chop it down a bit so that uh, it fits clearly. Uh, you also need to narrow it in my case so that the actual doesn't take up too much space when you're putting in the various um, tools and and drills and whatnot that goes into that tailstock. You need a reasonable amount of space. I I made the actual central barrel. Took that out. It's fairly easy to do. The central barrel out, and then put that onto the lathe with support, and took away the slight taper at this end and made it straight, so that. So that, that bit is then flat against the central part uh, and then can be secured with three M3 um, bolts, in my case, or screws. The other side, uh, excuse the fact that this is a bit tatty, but as I say, it, is, it was used somewhere else, but nevertheless. So this is the DRO fixing, a couple of M4 screws here uh, with a couple of spacers because the tailstock is a bit uneven and at the far end therefore just to screw through easily or we'll bolt through again m4 into the aluminium uh, drilled and tapped as you might expect uh, so that's the unit put in don't take all that long to do i've got a little bit of metal which uh, attaches to the back of the measuring unit uh, i'll put it back onto the lathe now and just give you a little demonstration of it working so here I have installed it back onto the lathe. Uh, you can see that this is a Myford Super 7 uh, and uh, everything seems to be working very well. You can operate the handle at the end, it makes it goes in and out. And then I've got the DRR mounted up here next to my other DM, DRO, so, DRO. So again, if you look at this, as I turn the handle, it goes up or down as it goes in or out um, and if you look at the machine itself on here the ejection still works at the end so there we have it with the, the lead the uh, centering tool coming out so that all works very nicely and I'm very pleased with that over the next few days I'll try it out but it's much more secure than the old one with the batteries and I think it will do a really good job and I think it's a really handy addition uh, to the lathe, which already has XY and uh, the length long here, DRO as well. X and Y, sorry, DRO. Just, just to add, there's a useful little locking device I got recently from Hemingway Kits, which is really handy, it replaces the bolt that's there. Uh, and this, you can actually press this up and reposition where the handle is. I can't do it right now without blocking the view. Try it with the other hand. No, it's even worse. Um, and that really locks really quickly and easily. So if this gets in the way, you can just lift it up. There we are. And position it wherever you want. It's got a little ratcheting system on it. I'm very happy with that. If you want to buy it, it's mind-bogglingly cheap. Um, I'll try and put a link to Hemingway kits uh, on the links below. Okay, have a good day now. Bye-bye.